بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دی سیریز آف ٹیومرز آف ڈرمس اینڈ ایپی ڈرمس اینڈ اسپیشلی ان دی ٹیومرز دیٹ آر سیلولر مائگرینٹس ٹو دی اسکین دس ویڈیو ول ڈسکرائب دی میسٹو سائٹوسس ان دی پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکسڈ دی کوٹینیس ٹی سیل لمفوما اینڈ ود سیزری سنڈروم دیز آر دی ریفرنسز فار دس ویڈیو Mastocytosis syndromes are a spectrum of rare disorders that are characterized by increased numbers of mast cells in the skin and in some instances in other organs as well. The common age of onset for these disorders is between the birth and two years of age and about 55% of the cases occur in this age group of nodular uh, cutaneous mastocytosis. papilloplaque cutaneous mastocytosis and urticaria pigmentosum however it can affect any age group the infancy onset mastocytosis is rarely in associated with systemic mastocytosis there is slight male preponderance for this condition and prevalence is unknown This is the abbreviated WHO classification of mastocytosis. This condition is divided into some uh, major heads such as cutaneous mastocytosis, indolent systemic mastocytosis, systemic mastocytosis with, uh, with an associated clonal hematological non-mast cell lineage disease, aggressive systemic mastocytosis, mast cell leukemia, mast cell sarcoma and extracutaneous mastocytoma 10% of the cases of uh, mastocytosis are of systemic variety while the cutaneous mastocytosis is classified as localized or generalized the entity that uh, is uh, under the head of localized uh, cutaneous mastocytosis is nodular cutaneous mastocytoma that is also termed as uh, mastocytoma or nodular cutaneous mastocytosis the generalized variety include maculopapular cutaneous mastocytosis papular plaque cutaneous mastocytosis urticaria pigmentosa telangiectasia macularis eruptiva persistens and diffuse cutaneous mastocytosis Human mast cell proliferation is dependent on KIT ligand and uh, KIT is the receptor for a stem cell factor. There is increased KIT signaling in many mastocytosis and uh, this is due to acquired activating point mutations in KIT. Also, in less frequently, there is mutation in platelet drive growth factor receptor alpha tyrosine kinase. uh the resultant increase in kit signaling lead to mast cell growth and survival so there is a, a use of kit kinase inhibitor to stop this signaling and as a treatment modality mast cells are long lived and reside in all supporting tissue they contain electron dense granules and these cells are present in connective tissue lung and gastrointestinal mucosal surfaces the dermis and in the microvasculature mast cells have uh, surface receptors for ige and uh, these mast cells are important in regulating vascular permeability and bronchial smooth muscle tone when ige sensitized uh, mast cells are stimulated by antigen physical agents such as cold or trauma or cationic proteins there is release of several pharmacologically active substances that are associated with clinical findings of mastocytosis when ma mast cell degranulate there is release of uh, histamine eosinophil and neutrophil chemotactic factors leukotriene Uh, d e and c cytokines such as uh, tumor necrotic factor alpha and uh, interleukin 
platelet activating factor acid mucopolysaccharides such as uh, heparin and serine proteases the histamine binds uh, with specific h1 receptors in the vascular wall and uh, it induces epithelial cell contraction that leads to gap formation and development of edema this action can be pharmacolog pharmacologically blocked by h1 receptor and agonists histamine is responsible for atric area gastrointestinal symptom the platelet uh, the prostaglandin uh, d2 is uh, responsible for onset of flush cardiovascular symptoms bronchoconstriction and gastrointestinal symptoms heparin induces bleeding into tissue and osteoporosis neutral proteases and acid hydrolysis are responsible for patchy hepatic fibrosis and bone lesions the signs and symptoms of the mastocytosis are due to release of histamine heparin and other pharmacologically active substances that are released in that environment uh, due to degranulation of the mast cells there is sign is a localized area of dermal edema and erythema or wheel formation that occur when the lesional skin is rubbed while the dermatographism is a term that is applied to an area of dermal edema resembling a hive and this occurs as a result of localized stroking of uh, apparently normal skin with a pointed instrument the systemic disease has uh, many uh, signs and symptoms pruritus and flushing may be due to food temperature changes alcohol and certain drugs such as morphine codeine aspirin alcohol dextran polymexin b scopolamine and uh, d uh, tubocurarin and non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs there can be watery nasal discharge or rhinorrhea or gastrointestinal or nasal bleeding due to anticoagulant effect of the heparin there can be bone pain or uh, and this bone pain is due to mast cell infiltration or osteoporosis due to excessive histamine release into the marrow and uh, there can be onset of pathologic fracture the osteoporosis in young men or premenopausal women can be a diagnostic clue to mastocytosis localized or nodular cutaneous mastocytosis the lesion is macular to papular to nodular and uh, it is also named as mastocytoma this can be a solitary lesion or there can be multiple lesions the color of the lesion is a yellow tan to pink and it becomes uh, erythematous and raised when a stroke due to degranulation of the mast cell this is the derrier sign it is uh, converted into bulla in some patients this is another gross picture of uh, solitary nodular cutaneous mastocytosis there is pink to tan brown nodule that may be pruritic or show blister formation the generalized papular plaque cutaneous mastocytosis occur in infant and children and the lesion is flat top there are multiple papules and plaque that are tan or occasionally yellowish brown in color they range uh, between 2 to 5 cm in size and they are multiple with irregular uh, outlines that are sharply defined derrier sign is positive while there is no formation of any scale and they there is occasional formation of bulla after rubbing the lesion of atric area pigmentosa may occur during infancy or arise de novo in adults the lesions are usually papules and macules and uh, there is no scale formation they are red brown in color and uh, round to oval in shape they are symmetric and widely distributed 
and uh, number may vary from a few to more than hundreds. Their formation, there is formation of bulla after rubbing and uh, classically the lesion is a bright red diffuse flushing that occurs spontaneously after rubbing of a skin or after ingestion of alcohol or mast cell degranulating agents. Telangiectasia macularis eruptiva perstens is uh, very rare and uh, this variety occurs only in adult. It is a freckle like macule and uh, there is a development of fine telangiectasia in long standing cases. There is no scale formation and the lesion is brownish to red. The shape is irregular and uh, these may become confluent and uh, these lesions are more common on trunk than extremities. There are hundreds of the lesion and with gentle stroking they attricate and uh, also show dermatographism. When you stroke with some uh, when you stroke it gently, there is development of uh, hives. Diffuse cutaneous uh, mastocytosis is also very rare and it affects all ages. The lesion is doughy, smooth with scattered elevation that resembles a leather and uh, this is also named as pseudoxanthomatous mastocytosis. The lesions are yellowish in appearance and uh, the shape is thickened appearance of large skin area. Skin folds are exaggerated especially in axilla and groin and bulla may occur after trauma or spontaneously. In this gross picture the uh, whitish area is normal skin while the other the skin is diffusely affected. A systemic form of mastocytosis also exists and there is involvement of other organs of reticular endothelial system that are spleen, liver, bone marrow and lymph node and this is with or without involvement of the skin and there is a more malignant clinical course and circulating mast cells are also seen and uh, there can be presence of mast cell leukemia. In general, it is not possible on morphological ground to distinguish a trichuria pigmentosa with systemic involvement from that having a skin disease only. On histology, there is subtle increase in mast cell around superficial dermal blood vessels in a trichuria pigmentosa and uh, the solitary mastocytoma is uh, marked by large number of tightly packed mast cells in the upper to middle dermis. These cells are, have got large pale nuclei, distinct cytoplasmic boundaries as is seen in this picture and fairly granular cytoplasm. Some of the cells are elongated and they closely simulate fibroblast or epithelial cells. There is presence of fibrosis, edema and eosinophil infiltration. The stain that is used to uh, stain this uh, metachromatic granules of uh, mast cells are toledine blue or Jameson stain. Later stain that is chloracetate estrase stain is also used. Immunohistochemically uh, they can also be distinguished by mast cell triptase. CD117 call retinin and kit expression. This is the photomicrograph of a lesion of uh, uh, a trichuria pigmentosum. Here there is presence of uh, diffuse dermal infiltrate of mast cells that are mixed with eosinophils and this uh, dermal infiltrate uh, this infiltrate is uh, expanding the dermis. Then uh, this one is the high power view of this uh, lesion. Here, the nuclei of these cells are large, pale and uh, these cells have having distinct cytoplasmic boundaries and uh, there is a faintly granular cytoplasm. There are some other cells that have got elongated and they uh, closely simulate fibroblast or perithelial cells. 
while this picture is uh, of uh, expression of tryptase that is immunohistochemical stain uh, immunohistochemistry and uh, there is expression of tryptase by these mast cells to reach to a definite diagnosis various laboratory examination can be performed uh, complete blood count is uh, shows this complete blood count shows anemia leukocytosis and eosinophilia and systemic mastocytosis there is an increased level of tryptase and coagulation parameters are disturbed. Increased 24-hour uh, uh, urine histamine excretion can be seen. Bone scan and imaging are important to define involvement of the bone such as lytic lesion, osteoporosis and osteosclerosis and endoscopy uh, can be used for uh, to see the involvement of the in gastrointestinal tract. The bone marrow smear and biopsy uh, are also used for the morphology and uh, markers of mast cells. So the diagnostic clues are clinical suspicion, positive barrier sign and a skin biopsy and uh, it should be differentiated from uh, other uh, diseases. The nodular cutaneous mastocytosis should be differentiated from juvenile xanthogranuloma and its pits nevus. The flushing of the body uh, that happens in mastocytosis should be differentiated from uh, carcinoid syndrome. Articaria pigmentosa should be differentiated from papular plaque cutaneous mastocytosis, telangiectasia macularis eruptiva uh, perstans, Langerhans cell histocytosis and secondary syphilis, papular sarcoid, generalized eruptive histocytoma and non-Langerhans cell histocytosis of childhood are other conditions that come in differential diagnosis of uh, Articaria pigmentosa. The diffuse cutaneous uh, mastocytosis, uh, the differential diagnosis are cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, pseudoxanthoma elasticum and forms of erythroderma. Now the course uh, and prognosis of the mastocytosis, there can be spontaneous resolution as happens in solitary mastocytosis and generalized reticaria pigmentosum and papular plaque cutaneous mastocytosis in children. There can be development of systemic mastocytosis as occur in uh, adults with onset of reticaria pigmentosum or telangiectasia macularis eruptiva perstans with extensive cutaneous involvement. The patient may uh, have shock due to extensive and acute degranulation in young children. Now the management of uh, mastocytosis, the patient should avoid drugs that uh, degranulate mast cells and release histamine. Antihistamines both H1 and H2 can be used uh, with or without uh, ketotifen. Mast cell stabilizers such as disodium chromoglycate 200 mg four times a day is helpful and it ameliorate pruritis, flushing, diarrhea, abdominal pain and disorders of cognitive function but uh, no effect on skin lesion. Imatinib is used for patients that are having kit mutation at F522C position but ineffective with other kit mutations. Sololin plus ultraviolet A therapies is effective for disseminated skin lesions but recurrence is common. Epinephrine is used in vas during vascular collapse and in nodular cutaneous mastocytosis, ointment glucocorticoid and triampulone acetonide are used.